Wow, what a sunrise. Good morning, Davians. What is up? So we are riding on a Saturday today. We have a ZX 10R with Austin Racing exhaust. We have a Ninja 650, Ninja 300 and my Z1000. Okay, I think it's time to switch. Let's take that Ninja 650. Ninja 650 guys On road is right bro 760 760 19 model though. Nice Ha 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 good that good that TFT Ah cool let's leave Let's take a look at this Ninja 650 I've been waiting to try this bike since a long long time Thanks to my friend Sean for giving me this opportunity Wow, the seating position is amazing on this thing. It is so comfortable, dude. Look at the shocks. It's like sitting on a sofa. Nice. And that dash is beautiful. Sounds nice. Let's go. Boy, the seating position on this thing. I feel like I can sit on this bike for an year. It is so damn comfortable, dude. And the suspension is too soft. It has totally controllable power. Nothing outrageous. Like a 6R or something. This is totally manageable. For any kind of riders, beginners, intermediate. Of course, skilled ones will long for more power. I think the torque is enough to take you to 200 That inline 2 motor down there It's working perfectly fine Boy, I thought Saturdays will be a little chill But what is this bro, so many vehicles I think there is not a lot of power at the top RPM Like once you cross 8000, 9000 you lose power until then it's torquey so that's the owner Sean on my Z1000 best way to keep this thing alive is to keep it at 8000-9000 rpm after that it loses power wow man I thought the suspension would be an issue at high speed but looks like it's doing fine See if I can take Panga with the ZX 10R. <laughs>
take Panga with the ZX radar if you're on a Ninja 650. This bike is simply not made for that. I'm surprised it's not able to hit 200. It's kind of locking at 194, 195. It should be reaching 200 easily. Is everywhere on this road. Brakes are good on this thing. So, looks like there is not enough torque to take the bike to 200 if you are a little heavy person. Like I said, after 9000 rpm, it loses its power. So, the thing with these uh, inline two or single cylinders, they are strong at low and mid, top end they lack. If you want top end, then it's above inline 3. I can't hear the bike at all. It's so quiet. Stock exhaust, of course. I think if we add an Acropovic on this thing, it will be pretty damn loud. Plus, it will boost a little horsepower. to beauty trip B okay there's the Odo 1893 kilometers on this thing I'm sure he has uh, done his first service so take a look at this bike guys when Ninja 650 is an old story this is the last of its kind 2019 model because after this they revamped the whole thing they put a new uh, fairing new dash and everything they made it look like the big brother of ninja 400 now so this is the last of its kind i think he made a wise decision buying this one because since this is bs4 it has a slightly more torque than the bs6 the upcoming model damn these restrictions dude so here the ninja 650 kind of sounds bassy but then at high speeds you can't hear a thing I tell you and I think it has slight vibrations near the tank near the seat of course single cylinders and inline two you can't avoid it if you want no vibrations switch to inline four even inline three has some vibrations How was the Z1000? Wow, <laughs> Torque. I should have a better helmet to ride that bike. 